guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create typography in allied motion so let's start by creating a new project after creating the project you have to import a music after listening the music carefully you have to mark those points where the text will come you can use this option to add those marks now let's add a background, I'm going to add an image, you can add videos also if you want. Now I'm going to increase the duration of this layer. As you can see here the image is not fitting in the screen, so I'm going to increase the size of this image. Now it's time to add the text, so come at the first mark and here click on the plus icon and select text. I will change the color of the text to white and also increase the size. I am also going to change the font, so if you want to use the font which I am using here, check the description. I will provide the download link there. After downloading the font, you have to click on view all fonts and from here you have to import the font. After that you can use it. So here is the text. Now I'm going to increase the duration of this layer. After that I will again select the layer and select move and transform. And from here you can keep the text wherever you want. I'm going to keep it here. Now let's add the second text, I am going to select this layer and duplicate it so that I don't have to change the colors and fonts all that. I am going to keep this layer a little before the mark and now I will select the layer and select edit text and from here I will edit it. I will keep the second text at the top left side and in this way you have to add all the other text so I am going to fast forward this. Now you have to adjust the duration of these layers so that one text don't overlaps the other. Now you have to select all these layers other than the music layer and then group them. Click here to group them. So here is the group. Now we have to animate this so that it focuses on different text. So you have to come at the beginning. Here we have to add three keyframes, one for position, second one for rotation and the third one for the size. So add them one by one. After adding those keyframes at the beginning, you have to add the same keyframes at every mark. After adding all the keyframes, we have to animate this. So you have to come at these keyframes and you have to change the position or the size however you want to animate this. That totally depends on where you have added your text. In the beginning, I'm going to move this layer a little to the left side and I'm also going to increase the size to get a zoom out effect and it will look like it is moving to the right.
in the second keyframe i'm not going to make any changes but in the third one i'm going to zoom in to that text so that only that text is visible I'm also going to rotate this a little bit. Now let's move on to the fourth keyframe and here I'm going to highlight the other text. Now it's time for the last keyframe. After adjusting the position in every keyframe, it should look something like this. To make the animation more smooth, we have to add graph between every two keyframes. So I will come between these two keyframes first and click here. Then I will adjust the graph to something like this. Now let me try to explain why I am using this graph. So if you look carefully the line is going up at the center and at the beginning and at the end the line is kind of flat. So most of the movement will be at the center which means if there is two keyframes at the center you will get the most effect. Suppose it is zoom out effect so you will see most of the effect at the center and near the keyframe it will be very slow that will help us to read the text now you have to copy this curve and paste it between every two keyframe so i'll copy it and move between the next two keyframes and here paste it we have to use the same curve for rotation and size also so come between those keyframes and paste the curve Now the animation looks much better. Now let's add some shake. So select the group and select effect and click on add effects. Here in move and transform you can find oxalate effect add that first. I will go with standard setting and here I will add a keyframe of angle and keep it at the beginning and I will add another keyframe of angle and here I will change the angle somewhat around 150 so that Throughout the whole layer the angle changes so the effect of oscillation will change throughout the layer I mean the angle will change now increase the magnitude a little I'm going to keep it around 80 and I'll also decrease the frequency frequency is the speed of the shake so I'll make it a little slow now we have to add swing effect so click on add effects and here Inside move and transform you can find swing effect at the standard setting. First I am going to decrease the frequency to around 1.3 maybe. After that change the angle 1 to minus 5 and angle 2 to plus 5. You can further adjust it according to your needs. If you want more swing you can increase the angle and if you want less swing you can decrease the angle. And don't forget to keep the angle 1 at negative. So if angle 2 is 6 then angle 1 will be minus 6. I think the shake is little strong so I am going to decrease the magnitude of oxalate effect. Now let's add some 3D effect to the text. It is not actually 3D but it looks kind of like that. So first we need all this text in separate layers. So for that you have to make copy of this group. 
so select the group and from here select duplicate layer now there are four text so I'll make four copies after that I'm going to change the name of the group so that I can identify which group have which text and by the way don't forget to make a group for the background Now select the group for background and here you have to hide all the layers other than the background. Select the eye icon to hide them. Now open the second group and this group is for honey so we have to hide all the other layers other than that. In the third group I will keep two text because I am not going to add any 3D effect in this group so I will keep the two text here. The fourth group is for 10 so I am going to hide all the other layers other than 10. And by the way if the image moves from its position without any reason then you have to go back and open the project again. This is a glitch I think when the pictures automatically zooms in without any reason. Now I want this first text to appear from the beginning. So for that I'll open the group and here I'm going to increase the duration of this layer. So again there is this glitch after opening a group. So I'm going to go back and open the project again. Now I'll select this layer. This layer with honey text in it. I want the text to come from bottom left corner to its original position. So I'll come at the first keyframe and here I'll move it to the bottom left corner. So as you can see here it is coming from that side now which gives it a 3D look. At the first keyframe I am also going to increase the size of the text. So this is how it will look. Here when moving to the other text I want the honey text to increase in size and move little to the right that will give it a 3D look. So I will come at the third keyframe and I will increase the size. So as you can see here, when moving to the other text, it is increasing in size. I am also going to move it a little to the right. So this is how it will look. And by the way, don't add any more keyframes. Only adjust the size and the position in the keyframes which are already there. And also don't change the position of the text in the center keyframe which is its original position. I am changing the position when it is coming in and I'm changing the position and the size when it is going out and in the second keyframe which is its original position I have not changed anything I want to add the same effect in this number also so the number will come from the bottom left corner and it will be bigger at the beginning and it will get smaller so I'm not going to change the original position and I'm also going to open the group and increase the duration a little bit. Now select the group and select move and transform. Here the last keyframe is the original position. So it will come from the left bottom corner to its original position. So I'm going to select the keyframe before it, before the last keyframe. And here I'm going to increase the size and move the text I mean the number to the left bottom corner so now it is coming from the left bottom corner to its original position and as it is zooming out and the background is also zooming out it will give it a 3d look now you have to add tiles effect to the background so select the background and go to effects here inside distortion and warp you can find tiles effect add this keep this effect in the top here you have to turn on mirror and you also have to increase the crop so that you don't get lines at the sides. You can add animation to these text also. You just have to open the group and here select edit group. Inside it you can just select the text and add whatever effect you want. You can add race effect. You can also add in animation out animations. 
and by the way one more important thing you have to add motion blur to all these groups so select the group and select add effects and inside blur you can find motion blur you have to add motion blur to all these groups so that is all for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video